Well, you're looking up, looking out straight ahead. That's one of the, one of the trails. But this uh, is one of the old sediment fields, from what I can tell. It's pretty flat here. It doesn't really necessarily look like it, but uh, look straight ahead, and this is all pretty much flat. <clears throat> so down that way, down that way is towards where I'm going to be building the cabin. But I'm really kind of sort of thinking about building up here because there's already a lot of light and it's pretty flat for the most part. I don't know. I could build like maybe a little mini cabin up here and then while I'm working on the bigger cabin. That's probably an idea. But uh, most of these trees, is, they're just little tiny trees, but most of them I'm going to cut down because I'm going to make this into a field again, a field for growing food. I'm going to take you on a little bit of walk. You see straight ahead, that's my little shower tent. So you can see where, where I'm at. And right basically down there, over the little hump right there, that's where my tent is. It may be uh, down there. I'm not sure if it's right around that area. But this also, you see all these, all these ferns. This is uh, once, was, once was a field from what I understand. And over there too. But I originally came up here to look at uh, which trees need to come down so I can do my solar power and I realized how flat it is up here and I remember the owner telling me uh, you know, that uh, this once was a field. So there's, there's still some rocks in the ground, but for the most part there's all the rocks out of here are gone. And I think this little patch right here I want to save, but all this I definitely want to turn into a garden. And this would be a great food for us up here too. And I'm thinking about doing, because it has a little bit of a, a slant, uh, I think I'm going to do some swales. Uh, whatever else it's called, something. So right down there, a little bit, you can see the water. That's where the uh, cabin is. And so all this stuff's got to be cut, cut down. All this around here's got to be cut down. And I realized my dad and I were talking about how much of a bank, if it's a, a steep bank, which it, it doesn't look like it is, but it's a little bit of a bank, I'm definitely going to need to build a, a wall right there to make water go around one of the two different directions. Because uh, I think that's what happened with the original property, is that um, they didn't protect against the bank being here. But, um, of course, the time with nobody living there as well, it's going to rot away. But... So all this is uh, going to be garden area, and looking back where we just walked. So I love it up here, even with the trees. I just need to cut down a couple trees to be able to do enough light for solar power. But uh, if I want to turn this into a, a garden, I definitely need to cut all the cut down all these little small trees and stuff. Besides, if you if you I don't know if you can notice with that one right there and that one right there, they're already marked with, with blue paint, which means they're uh, already designated to be cut down already, so and there's some dead trees there too. Look, X cross, don't go here. Um, let's see. Uh, I don't know. I just just love when I was, if I was a kid, I would be romping around this place constantly, nonstop. I just love looking at all the places you can go and and run around at. But uh. So this is uh, going down towards, this is broken by the way. Uh, whoever took over the campsite that I had, rather than taking the poles apart, they just tried to fold it in half and they snapped the plastic thing up top. I tried to, to uh, rig it, but it didn't quite work. So, uh, uh, tried to tie it and stuff, but anyway, you can't really can't, can't see that. But in any case, walking down, this is the east side of the cabin, or, Will be. I'm just walking down a little bit. All right now, you're looking at the north side and west side. So this is the north side, and that's the west side. And that little ravine right there—that's where the water is. And there's a nice little flat spot right here, and right over there. So I could pla places I could put a tent and stuff, but it's too close to 
the trees being felled. And another nice spot right there. I think this is part of a trail. It kind of looked like it. Going back up this way, this kind of looks like a trail going that way, but I haven't really walked it to find out. This way, walking towards the little creek that comes out of the spring. It's looking back up. So that's right, that right there is the natural spring. That's the, the cabin area. You can see there's already they they did do a bank on this side which was great. Helped that hold that wall in, but they didn't really do one on the other side. So here's the the little tiny stream that comes out of the, the spring. I'm thinking about actually building a dam in the middle of the spring. And just looking at it, it looks like it would be a better source of collecting water. And most of the leaves collect on the uh, one side and not where the spring side is. So if I dam that up, then I could maybe make that into a pool, keep some fish there, or, or something. Maybe even make a little spot to uh, bathe in. But uh, So back up that way is where we just were. Alright, so here comes to pine needle tea. Alright, I've been told many different things. Most of the videos I can find on YouTube all say to use the long needles. Uh, something about having two or three sprigs coming out. I've heard something you don't want to do it when they're growing, when they're flowering, whatever this is called, this little growth right here. I don't know, I haven't, I haven't only heard that once, so I don't know if it's true or not. But then someone also said you should use the small ones, and I know that's not true, because all the videos always say use the long ones. So, uh, anyone knows for sure, let me know. Appreciate, would appreciate it. But, uh, so, that's really about it. I'm going to go back up to my area. Actually, I'm going to walk one of the trails, but uh, that would probably be too long for you to tag along with. So, uh, that's all I have to say for now, and uh, of course this will be on either last week's video or this week's video, I'm not sure which one I'll put it on, but uh, anyway, come join me if you want.